When reading through popular magazines and newspaper articles, you may often notice the results of scientific studies are mentioned. Being able to find the original research that is referenced in these articles is a useful skill, as it allows you to see how the research was done and what the true findings were. This video tutorial will show you how to find the original research when all you have to work with is a catchy headline. The magazine article that you are working with will likely give you some hints about how to find the research that you are looking for. Read through this piece closely to find these clues. Look for things like the date the research was done, the name of the researcher, or the title of a journal or article. The topic may also be useful. Keep track of these clues by highlighting them or notating them somewhere. This example article comes from the magazine Psychology Today. This is not an academic journal, so for most assignments, this article would not be an acceptable reference. As you can see here, the research that is mentioned in this piece comes from the journal Abnormal Psychology. I can also see that the research was done by a Jason Moser from Michigan State University. This information will help me find the original article I am looking for. Next, decide on where you're going to look for the original article. Since I'm looking for a psychology article, I am choosing the PsycInfo database. This is one of the most popular databases for psychology research. It can be accessed by visiting the Psychology Library Guide on the MSVU Library website. First, select Guides A to Z, then find the link to the Psychology Guide. PsycInfo is the first link on the page. Most of the time when you are using a database, you will be looking for any relevant article you can find on a particular subject. This time, the search is a bit different as you're looking for a specific article. PsycInfo allows you to use several different types of search terms in the boxes at the top of the page. Clicking the drop-down menu beside each search box shows you these options. For this example, I know the last name of the author of the article I am looking for is Moser. I can type this into the search box and select Author from the drop-down menu. I also notice that the author of this piece is affiliated with the University of Michigan. I am going to use this as my second search term, using Author Affiliation as the type of search term. When I have these in, I'll just click Search. This gives me 46 results. This is a few too many to comb through for the correct article, so I'm going to try using a different set of search terms. I'm pretty sure the author's name is important, so I'll keep this. But I also know the title of the journal for this example. I can put this in the search box and select SO publication name. SO stands for source. I also know the journal is called Abnormal Psychology. This search brings back two results. It may appear that neither is really a great fit, as the titles are very different from the magazine article I read. But remember, a scientific article may not use the same sensational language as the popular media article. I'll have to read closely to find out which one is correct. I know the second citation is likely not the one I'm looking for. It's old. It was published in 1985, and the article from Psychology Today mentions the research they are reporting on is new. By clicking on the record for the first article, I can see that Jason Moser is one of the authors and the publication year is 2014, the same year as the issue of Psychology Today that I was looking at. I can further verify that I am looking at the right article by reviewing the abstract to make sure the topic is the same. In this case, both pieces are talking about repraisal and emotions. With this information, I am pretty sure I have the right journal article. Reading through this will give you a better and more detailed look at the actual research that went into the magazine article. This way you can make sure any conclusions drawn were correct. Thank you for watching this tutorial. If you need more help, feel free to contact the library.